Hi guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to NYC. NYC. Well, this is episode three of season two. We haven't done one in a while, but we're excited to get back out there. And this is, we're going to a very unique, interesting place. UES in the Upper East Side. Very excited. I love ice cream. Mike likes ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream? Yeah. So the initials are UES um, for Upper East Side, but it's actually an ice cream shop in the front. And then there's a, what looks like a wall in the back made out of cartons of ice cream, which actually is a door that opens into a cool little speakeasy in the back. They have cocktail themed ice creams and ice cream that you can order back there. It looks really cool. It's unique. I mean, it's cocktails and ice cream. It's like two of my few, two of my favorite things. Mine too. Uh, I think it's gonna be really cool. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. See you there. See ya. It's gonna be some like. No, it's that. This is so cool. Oh. Wow. That's so. Cool. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Oh, hey, no problem at all. We are at UBS. Super cool speakeasy. I'm surprised we hadn't come here sooner, really. They've been open for three years. Um, definitely a speakeasy hidden behind a wall of ice cream boxes. An ice cream shop. Um, the candle is in a, a little teacup, which is really cool. And um, ice cream drinks, you can go wrong. Uh, the one I'm having is kind of their signature, signature drink, or so I'm told. It's called the Girls Gossip on the East. It is, um, we were kind of talking about it. It kind of is reminiscent of almost like a, uh, it has like a Mexican, almost like a salsa theme. Um, it's uh, tequila, um, lime, agave, chulua chipotle. So chulua chipotle, spicy chipotle. Um, hibiscus infused campari, homemade Mexican fruit puree, and prosecco. So it's, um, and they laid it on fire. We, we missed that, but, and there's a, if it wasn't like enough like salsa, there's a tortilla chip in it. So clearly like salsa slash Mexican food inspired. Um, and they, they, there's corn and everything. They lit it on fire. It's really good. It's um, fruity. Um, I taste some mango. I taste some lime, of course. But also a little spicy. So it's a nice mix. Um, and of course, you know, if you get hungry, you can just always... Uh, Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, man. I am a little hungry, actually. So, really good drink. I can see why this is your signature drink. Um, and this is, oh, this is where they lit on fire. Here it is. You can see the fire. It's a, a corn husk. So, also going with the salsa kind of theme. So, that has a little bit of charred flavor there. Really good. I have the I Left My Heart in Yorktown. The glass is adorable. It's a heart, if you can tell. And so here's what's in it. So, purple empress gin, fresh blueberry, blueberry, uh, Kubra essence, which I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna look it up after this. Lemon, poppy seed, soco, creamery, 
blueberry honey lavender ice cream. Say that ten times fast. So cold creamery blueberry honey lavender ice cream. So that was really delicious. So the ice cream actually when it was served, it was right here on top. And the blueberry puree and everything was kind of on top. And then as you can see, what it's supposed to do is melt down into the drink. Well, I was kind of eating it um, before it all melted down, but that's okay. A little bit of it fell down and it's made it into a nice creamy drink. Um, as you can see, it's a little creamy. It's, uh, it's sweet. It's very strong, uh, which I'm fine with. It's a 7 on the scale, I think, out of 10. And it also has a 9 wow factor. So, I'll take it. I'm loving it. This place is so cool. Quick bathroom clip. On the door, it says, for those who have to go, I think, which is cool. Physical bathroom. It's got the sign here with the dripping paint. Some cool stuff on the door. Probably the coolest thing is this. Check this out. This is Maker's Mark. I didn't know they made a bottle this big. This is literally about the size of my head. Look at this. This is no camera trickery. This is just a massive, massive bottle. You can see it here. Check that out. It's literally this big. Amazing. Um, and a nice, you know, above that, this nice, uh, lovely portrait. Oh, and one more thing. Check out this, above the sink. Smolder all you want, baby. But no smoking. All right, the next stop is Hunter College, everyone. So, established in 1870 by Irishman Thomas Hunter, obviously, Hunter College was a women's college for training teachers. It was known for its impartiality regarding race and ethnicity, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, so let me tell you about this drink. So, it has spiced rum, obviously, dried chocolate peanut butter, dried chocolate peanut butter, just saying, lotus cookie spread, whatever that is, I need to have some of that at home, it needs to be in my stock at home, house made exotic fruit puree, because you always need puree, some kind, especially fruit puree, SoCo dirty chocolate ice cream, dirty chocolate, ooh, and Young's chocolate stout. Oh man, so there's beer in here too? Stop. So, it has a strength of seven, which I will take because I'm already feeling myself that's their one seven uh, strong, uh, strong drink. The complexity is a nine and the factor, wow, is a ten. Let's give it a go, guys. Oh my god. You can't have any sips of this one, Mike. Mm, it's amazing. It tastes like I'm drinking a. It's like a Nutella peanut butter. What are those great little peanut butter um, treats? I'm trying to remember the peanut butter desserts, but it. Oh. I feel like I'm drinking a dessert right now with a little bit of alcohol mixed in and highly recommend. This is also our waitress's favorite, so just saying. Also, I just want to tell you a little bit about the atmosphere of the place. So cool. All these random pictures kind of scattered all about and portraits of random people. Uh, this is Frank Sinatra. We've heard a lot of Frank Sinatra here tonight. It was uh, our waiter's 88th birthday, I believe. So, happy birthday to her. That pen's happy birthday sign. And, uh, yeah, I mean, highly recommend. Some of you heard of Serendipity 3, the ice, famous ice cream shop. This is called the Serendipity 4. I'll see a reference to that. Look at this. What an awesome serving glass. It has, I see on top ice cream, I see a, a little like chocolate cookie. This is the sweet list. Waffle and bourbon. Uh, cafe liqueur. Uh, sea salt caramel liqueur. Creamery salted caramel ice cream. Cream ale. So it has basically like salt and caramel ice cream in bourbon um, and coffee. I'm gonna try it here for the first time. Here we go. Oh man. So how it managed to be both 
Very strong. It tastes the bourbon. Strength 8 out of 10. But also so good. It's like he took delicious bourbon, a little coffee, some nice cream, and some caramel. And cream ale. Yeah, you get this. Creamy, chocolatey, caramelly, bourbony. Basically all my favorite things. Uh, gotta come here, yeah. Gotta come here. Worth it. We got one more drink to share just because. This is called the Community Board Eagle. So it looks like a little barrel here. It's got a little top. Ice cream cone. This looks like a, a lemon. It's actually like that's kind of cotton put on top. It's actually mango sorbet. Oh. So, uh, scotch with pine resin tears, whatever that is. Uh, Amaro smoked uh, pineapple juice, smoked pineapple juice, homemade juniper and rosemary honey. That sounds great. Ginger beer, uh, spicy apple, jalapeno jam, lemon, and choco creamery mango sorbet. So it's got the mango sorbet is obviously here. Mm. So good. I love how the drinks incorporate ice cream because we are an ice cream product after all. Now let's try my first sip of the actual drink. Let's see. And the straw kind of goes through the little ice cream coat with the sorbet to the bottom. So. So, very interesting. You get the ginger and the, the scotch up front. Very uh, ginger, pineapple, scotch. But then towards after that, you get the the jalapeno. The spiciness comes in, um, and the smokiness. So it's very interesting how how well blended it is. You get you get. Um, kind of that citrusy, gingery flavor from the pineapple and the ginger. And then you get like the all the stronger parts, the scotch, the smokiness, the spiciness at the end. So that's pretty cool. Awesome drink. All the drinks here are awesome. If you like ice cream at all, and or cocktails at all, and ideally the two together, you gotta come here. So you need We love it. We're loving it. That was an awesome time. Uh, we really, really enjoyed it. Um, I knew it was going to be cool, uh, but I think we were both blown away at just how cool mm. it was. I think in terms of the uniqueness factor, it's up there with, with some of the best. Um, it's the patent pending, really. Yeah. Um, just in terms of like this, this the speakeasy factor, in terms of how hidden it is, the journey there, in terms of getting in, the cool factor of the decorations, the cool factor of the drinks, it's the all, drinks. all up there. Yeah. Um, one thing, I, I think the elephant in the room um, when it comes to, to UES, when you look at the uh, the reviews on Yelp, it only has three stars. If you actually look at those lower ratings, a lot of it comes down to the dress code. They, they do have a very, um, a, a pretty strict dress code. I feel like they have relaxed it um, since COVID probably. Um, historically, it was basically um, no sneakers, no you know shorts, no athletic gear, no okay. t-shirts. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we saw some people in front of us get in with with nice sneakers, so I think they have relaxed that part a little bit, which makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, they still like I think we saw some people trying to get in wearing shorts and t-shirts. They won't do right. that. Um, I, I do get some of the you know the people who are, who are giving low wages are saying, well, it's an ice cream, it's a ice cream shop to some extent. Why do you need to um, have such stringent requirements? At the same time, you know, they're trying to go for people looking decent on the inside and not, you know, just kind of wearing super casual. Um, that said, I mean, we weren't super dressed up. I'm wearing, like, I'm wearing a button down shirt and, you know, some pants. I mean, I think jeans would have been fine yeah. too. And, and some slightly nicer shoes and sneakers. And, and that was totally fine. So, I mean, I, I'm actually okay with that. They do state it very clearly on the website and when you make a reservation and all that. So yeah. it's not like it's a surprise. 
And I guess that that was their vision for the place. That's, I think, a big reason why a lot of the lower ratings, uh, why it has an average of three stars. But if you put that aside, um, it's it's really a really good place. And when you're when you're in there, it's super cool. They, it is very classy. The bar is really nice. It's decorated really well. There's pictures all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, great music. Great music. We're hearing some Frank Sinatra, oh, yeah. some oldies. So. And yeah, the drinks are super unique, delicious. We loved all of them. I think maybe that's my, my probably my most favorite drink that I ever had was the chocolate one. It's like a chocolate milkshake. That's probably one of my favorite drinks alcoholic ever. Alcoholic so. chocolate milkshake. Malted. Alcoholic chocolate milkshake. I don't know that I've ever had an alcoholic chocolate milkshake. So highly recommend, guys. Check it out. I would give it probably five stars, really. Mm -hmm. I would say Me too. if you like cocktails and you like ice cream, which are two things that a lot of people like, uh, if, you're, <laughs> if you're watching this channel, you probably like cocktails. If you don't, I don't trust you. Um, then it's super cool. I mean, there's no real other place we've been to that has, out of all the speakeasies that we've been to, that has that has put those two things together that which you think you probably it happen more often but to have you a menu that is not all but a lot of the cocktails have some sort of ice cream or sorbet uh component super cool and they work it works really well too really really well um mm -hmm. those the last one we got the mango sorbet yeah the mangoes uh the uh serendipity four was awesome the uh hunters what was it hunters college i think yeah uh was super good. Um, Next up, Hunter's College. Yeah, all all super good. Um, and it's basically it's kind of the next logical step to be a speakeasy hidden behind an ice cream shop to have ice cream based cocktails. Super unique, super good. If you like those two things, uh, totally worth checking out. Just you know, put on. Yes, don't wear sneakers, but uh, <laughs> if you do that, you're gonna love it. Honestly, like I I think. Uh, you know, for everyone there, it seemed like they were having a great time, uh, yes. really. Thanks for joining us, as always, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.